built for one purpose. To launch off the blocks, to slice through the ranks, to be the best, to be the best. When, 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 when the world will notice me. <laughs> Thrilling, dark and dangerous. Red Speedo transforms one man's near-naked ambition into a parable for a modern age obsession with sex, sport and celebrity. Where virtue has no value and the only crime is getting caught. And please welcome to the cafe two of the show stars, Ryan Carter and Wesley Dowdall. Thanks for being here, boys. OK, so which one of you gets to wear the Speedo? Moi. Yeah. I, I, do. I wouldn't want to put anyone through seeing me in a Speedo. <laughs> it, it'd be like watching a, a, a raw piece of chicken breast on stage. <laughs> now you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ryan, you play Ray. Yeah. And I'm really pleased I saw that clip because I had something completely different in my head. So it's, is it a bit of a thriller? Yeah, well, it's, mm. it, it's a tough one because it is, it's got a bit of everything because it's hilarious, bit like dark, there's a, quite a bit of action mm. in it as well. But yeah, it's a, it's a hard one to like <laughs> pin down, which is, I think is why it's so great. Yeah. Because you don't know what's happening, you don't know what's gonna happen next, and then you'll just be like, what? And, yeah. and can I just say, if that, that's you, isn't it? That's that, you. That's You've my been head. working yeah. out. Yeah. You were working out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can rock a speedo quite well. Yeah, well, when you've got good lighting and baby oil, anything is possible. <laughs> that's what they say, Mike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can probably prove that theory wrong. <laughs> so how many pairs of speedos do you have? Because you spend the entire performance in speedos, don't you? Yeah, I have one um, swap over to a different pair of speedos. <laughs> uh, but we did learn today that you might have to double up. Oh, hey. really? Well, they, oh, they yeah, suggested... Oh, yeah, of, like... We don't want any oh. accidents. <laughs> yeah. Right. And yeah. a warm studio, I'm, I'm imagining. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. warm yeah. studio. <laughs> what a great play to be part of, and very challenging, I guess, just mm. the simple physicality of being in a speedo the whole time of your show. Yeah. Um, but, Wesley, what's your character? How do you, ro how do you roll in this? Well, I, I play um, Peter, who is Ray... Ray's brother, older brother, and he's a, he's a lawyer, but he wants to go into start get merging into athlete management. So he considers himself Ray's sports agent, as it right. were. Mm -hmm. so, um, so basically, Peter makes a lot of decisions for Ray. But there's a bit of a twist here because what happens is there's drugs found in the fridge at the training centre, yeah. right? Yeah. And you're yeah. telling him. No, 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 let's keep this all under control. Is that yeah, right? So you're the yeah. mean, greedy one. Is that how this is? Uh, yeah, yeah, and he is in a way, yeah. And But but the mm. writer, um, Lucas Nath, he's this kind of hottest, young, kind of American playwright to come out. He's kind of commenting on everyone. Yeah. Every, every, and um, the, um, mm. what did Chelsea say? The age of the, the age individual. The age of the individual, yeah. Um, yeah. Where... Ultimately, we're all a bit selfish. About and, us, yeah. 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 And let's, let's talk about Chelsea, because, yes. um, you know, you, you're playing with Chelsea Press and Crayford, yeah. who um, I loved in Underbelly, yeah. oh, amazing. Yeah, amazing. How's it playing um, playing with her in the in the play? Like, what's that like? I don't get to yeah. be on stage with her, you do. Yeah. yeah, I get the pleasure of that. She's amazing. She's so fun to work with. She's always, like, she's one of those people that kind of challenges you in all the good ways to work with, and she's so fresh and fun, and also, at the end of the day, just a super, super lovely person. Mm. So what's well. her role? She's my ex-girlfriend. Right. Mm. Who um, also is kind of in the drug world, the old doping world, which is, yeah. Ah. Kind of how we're connected. It's hard to say things without. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's pretty yeah. obvious what's happening, but yeah, yeah, just go and see it. I think is what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So, have you guys all worked together before? No, no, we haven't. Well, that must be yeah. quite invigorating, isn't it? When you get together and you haven't worked, you know, because in New Zealand, everyone bumps into each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. It's pretty cool because you, you meet a complete stranger and then you're working, and especially in our industry, you're working in such a way where it's quite intimate in a way, and we've got to be touching each other all the time on the or floor. doing these things, and so you get to know people really well. In yeah, a very short and space very of time. quickly. Yeah. And, and Ryan, are you an actual swimmer yourself? Well, before this, I was not a <laughs> not a dolphin. But no, after like getting into this, I got. I mean, it's kind of easy because when you normally when you do roles, you're like, if it's a you know a drug addict or this person or that person, you're like, I can't really do that. But with swimming, you're like, great, 
I can just swim, and that's all my preparation. Mm -hmm. nice. So it's really fun, and it's actually really like satisfying getting it yep. right. Get well, it <laughs> you look fantastic in those speedos. <laughs> and Red Speedo kicks off Auckland Theatre Company's 25th anniversary season and plays from tonight through to the 15th of November at the ASB Waterfront Theatre. For ticket de details, check out their website.